Well, we do have some more new information about the coronavirus, guys, here at 614 now. Promising news in the fight against this virus, giving healthcare companies a big boost, and changes are coming to national auto emissions standards. Laura Podesta joins us live from Connecticut this morning with today's Money Watch report. Good morning. Hey, good morning, John and Dina. So healthcare companies helped give Wall Street a little bit of a boost yesterday because they had some optimistic news when it comes to fighting the coronavirus. Abbott Labs jumped 6% yesterday. The company said it's rolling out a diagnostic test to check if people have COVID-19, and the test comes back within about five minutes with the results. Johnson & Johnson leapt 5%. It'll start clinical trials on a vaccine a little bit later this year with hopes that an emergency vaccine will be ready by early 2021. So let's hope that comes to fruition. About 94% of all restaurants here in the U.S. are under some sort of restriction due to the coronavirus outbreak. That's according to a consulting firm called NPD Group. It says that customer transactions last week fell 36% compared to the same week a year ago. Restaurants that rely heavily on people coming in to dine fell 71% compared to the same time last year. And today, the Trump administration is expected to talk about and roll back the Obama-era vehicle fuel efficiency standards. Those have been one of the country's most prolific efforts in order to fight climate change because it encourages automakers to make electric vehicles and fuel-efficient vehicles. But the Trump administration says by rolling back these standards, SUVs will become a little less expensive and cars could become safer. So we shall see. We know a lot of people are pushing back against that rollback. Yeah, John and Dina. Sure. All right. Also, Laura, there is a tasty way to show your support for the healthcare workers out there. How do you do that? <laughs> There is, so this is called the Pizza versus Pandemic Initiative. And what you do basically is go to sliceouthunger.org and it's a tax deductible donation that you're gonna give. It will go, the money will go to a local pizzeria of, and th that local pizzeria will then send the pizza pie to local first responders. So you're, oh, you're able to um, support local businesses. Like we were just saying, restaurants are really, really struggling right now. So you yeah. can support your local pizzeria and you're offering up some carbs and some energy to people on the front lines fighting mm -hmm. this outbreak. I think that's a win-win, a major win-win. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Laura, thank you very much.